So hello and welcome to our Miracle Group meeting. It's Tuesday night again and we are so excited that you join us. Thank you for being online. Uh, I see Oshara and I see Monica and Patricia and Lynn and JJ and, and Jillian JJ and Maddie here. and Oscar. Yeah. We have like some people come joining here a little bit later and we are punctual, so we get started. <laughs> so first of all, uh, I wish to show you something really excited, exciting for Carissa and I. We received our new CD this week and it's called Receive Inspiration. And we did like inside, we took a picture and I hope you can see it. Um, it's like, look up at the sky. And these are the beginning words from our book, look up at the sky, because it reminds us where the power is, where everything comes from. Right. And if you can see this, this beautiful picture, the sky picture that you see here was taken by a friend of ours in North Carolina. And if you're really close, you see the eyes of God looking at us. Can you see them? So that's so amazing. We always get like the most so beautiful sky human, pictures. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So if you ever have like a beautiful sky picture, we're happy to use them. Um, so remember this like from the book we're using now also an original picture from Honduras when the rainbow yes. was around the sun connected to the light so that was beautiful or remember our first one when uh, Debbie in Orlando was asking God for a sign to uh, speak to her if she is supposed to stay at an event or leave and then he showed up in a form of yes with the arms high open stay 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 be here you're in the right place to be so just as a reminder, so look up at the sky more often, go out and take some pictures and you will be amazed how God talks to you or like what kind of messages are there. It's, uh, it's just wonderful. And we are happy to receive these pictures and use them for our future uh, products because we have also a little tart set coming up with a lot of affirmations and Bible verses and we are taking 67 sky pictures. And we have so many plenty here. Uh, just for the reason, if you wish to have your sky pictures featured in that, just let us know. It, it will be a, um, an honor for us to use it. Good. All right. So tonight we thought we would get your pen out and we'll start our journaling, as we love to do in our Miracle Group meeting. And let's open the Connect to the Light book, or if you have a paper, um, we're going to add to our Behind the Grand Doors. So... As we are developing our life, we know that we script our life and that's how we live by design. So if you could write a few things of that, that magical, those doors are opening in your life and what is behind it? What's, what are we looking forward to or excited about in this moment? What, we know that we're satisfied with so much and now where is that life that we're so imprinting and ready to remember? We have to image it first imagine it and then the universe can bring it to this plane so let's take a moment to image together and let's fill in about 10 or 12 of the blanks that are on the page in front of you behind the grand doors of my life so you can close your eyes you can take a few deep breaths and then just whatever comes in just make a note of it on your page so think about what is your idea when you open these doors what who you wish to see and we did this exercise before it's just we want to encourage you to go into this room into this house you're building more and more often so that's why we do it again today we go into this new room we go into a new kind of part time of life what is the next stage is it has it something to do with like a room of perfect health yeah, page, yeah. is it page four, three, something five, like three, like a person you require in your life for some reason, like for help, for love, for friendship. Is there another, is there another being you're going to meet? Is there another pet? Maybe you're thinking about getting um, like a companion in your life in the form of a pet. So what is this going to look like? This next room you're creating and it can be a meditation room. We're just saying we do this meditation later from the CD, receive inspiration, which is full of inspiration, uh, prayers and affirmations. So, and then we Jay said, oh, let's go into my meditation room, into my healing room, actually. And uh, because the energy is so different there. So even behind our doors, 
there can be different rooms where the energy is completely different. So one can be one room where it's laughter and playing, and then there's another room where there's complete silence and time and a space to hear God's voice and to meditate and to listen and to pray. And then there can be another room where all the family is sitting. So what does a family room look like? <laughs> and who do you invite in your family room? And then there can be a friendship room. And then there can be a worship room. Or like a music room where you play instruments. And then there can be a room where you only do things that are so fun for you, like you have a hobby, like photography, or you like to write, or you like to study. It can be a study room where you learn a new language. So everything that you still wish to attract deserves a different room. And then sit in this room and, and feel it and smell it. What are the colors? What are you actually smelling? Is it like a fragrance, more like flowers? Is it a fragrance like someone is baking? Is it nature? Do you feel, do you feel salt on your skin from the ocean? Is it an outdoor area? Is it an inside area? So just for now, concentrate on one more room, one more room you're creating, what you always wish to have in your life, this one extra room for yourself. And this extra room can also be extra time. So what are you doing with this one extra room, with just one extra hour in your day? What, what is that looking like? How do you use it? Do you use it for exercise? Do you use it for breathing? Do you actually use it for journaling? So this is your time, spending in your room, spending in your life. Because we all know where focus goes, energy flows, and we are attracting exactly that into our life, what we focus on, and where we spend our time thinking and speaking out loud. And right now we are in this beautiful group where we can give each other the energy. So you know everything you write down is it's a possibility to come into your life because you start attracting it. Hi. Hi, come on in. Got everybody on Zoom here. Join us, join us. Yeah. So we're filling in Chapter Center. 3. So Chapter 3 and Connect to the Light, I the grand know. doors of my life. So you can just take notes. Let's go ahead and take notes. And we have plenty of space in a book to fill it in. So questions are like, also what do you look like? in this room maybe you look different in every room so in this room you're describing right now what do you wear mm -hmm. is it like something formal is it something that is casual like really comfy clothes are you wearing your pyjama are you completely like nature made you <laughs> and again what do you feel do you feel relaxed do you feel peaceful calm do you feel happy joyful do you have a feeling of worthiness that you completely deserve this new room of yours do you deserve it absolutely so have this feeling of deserving this feeling of victory owning this new room you're a complete winner of this new room and then look at the details 
is there like is it outside is there what kind of trees what kind of flowers what kind of grass what kind of plants what kinds of animals and inside what's the detail what's the decoration is there is there a window when you look outside this window what do you see And on the top of my page, I wrote my beautiful wife. So I, I suggest that everybody make sure they have love on the page. Acceptance. Harmony. We are not doing like anything. Health. Love, acceptance, harmony, health, all those kind of in. great feelings and we're looking at our ground doors. Peace, just, nature. Um, stepping into a new room. Nice. So what is your new room looking like? And maybe it's a new relationship room. So write down everything you you wish to have a new new relationship. What does this relationship room looks like? What kind of feelings do you wish to have? So anyone wishes to share what kind of room they created for now that we can give you all the energy for this new life to step into, this new room? You can unmute yourself and just, just speak or like raise your hand and then uh, I can unmute you. Anyone sharing? Okay. Patricia. Okay. So my beautiful life behind the grand doors uh, is uh, wrote a number of road trips to a variety of cities. I want to travel and I'd like to do that through road trips. Yay, fun. To go to small towns as well as bigger cities, but m more so like small towns. And in my own <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've traveled with me. Sorry. Oh, uh, good. Um, okay, so. Uh, a wonderful travel companion, uh, feelings of safety, love, acceptance, harmony, meeting interesting people and hearing interesting stories, Ooh. both about the community and like about the it. people that we meet. Yes. And uh, going to small family restaurants, with that have friendly people you know like family owned restaurants meeting people over good food that's local going to local coffee shops that have local musical performances yes visiting historical places and beautiful gardens um, clean comfortable safe and reasonably priced accommodations creating new friendships. I see us in comfy, cool clothing. I see us singing along with music uh, through our phones and um, feelings of adventure, gratitude, peacefulness, awe, and surprise. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. And I think that inspired a lot of us to like create another room. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely did for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wishes to share? JJ? Mm -hmm. <laughs> put me on the spot. Yeah, ah. put you on the spot. I just kind of jotted down so I didn't really flow in this. I haven't checked. But um, I envision an outdoor room. Um, the landscaping is green with beautiful pink and white flowers. Waterfall on the side of the hill on the grass, large 
On the grass, there is a large, long table, trees all around with lights above, beautiful, small, um, oh, smell of fresh uh, foods, laughter and calmness, joy, dancing, chatter, love in the air, relaxing and happy, worthiness. I feel like I deserve the space that I have built. Uh, everybody is happy in their flowy clothing, bohemian gypsy dresses. There are four small papillon dogs, happy playing, running around. Uh, there is harmony, acceptance, birds chirping. The air is warm and breezy. My family and friends, beautiful community of spiritual consciousness. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Monica, ready to share? Sure. Um, I have three rooms. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the more the better. <laughs> so we want to ask, keep on writing, keep writing. Keep writing. <laughs> <laughs> like Monica, three rooms, more, more, more. <laughs> it's like it's like short, but came up with three. So one would be like a happy, like a happy energy room full of friends, new and old, and like dancing, laughter, good conversation. That's one of them. Yeah. Beautiful. Then another room would be with the. I kind of see the like a window, oh, like it opens up that you go straight into the ocean, and these beautiful pastel, bright flowers, good, good friends, like minded for long conversation, relax, relaxing. Um, that's another room. <laughs> Perfect. And then one more, I call it war room, where it's like work, 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 business, nothing but business, like strategy room, like whiteboards and stickers and computers and every paper you can have out of all the drawers. So even the success room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll name your room success room. Huh? Yeah. Success room. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah, it was like. I'm thinking about what would my room be? Success room, definitely. Strategy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah. So that's 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 it. I like the success room. Yes. I always have more paper. Right. For more room. So. So Lynn, what does your room look like right now? Uh, I, I can't be honest, so I will just talk about what I'm enjoying right now. We just, just went into the 80s here yesterday in Michigan. We went from winter with snow to 80s yesterday. So Ooh, I, I finally, you got it one day. Yeah, I'm finally able to be outside, so that's my new room. I'm just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying being outside in all the spring. The, the trees are flowering and the, the flowering bushes are beautiful. Green grass, the trees are all flowering. It's just, it's just <coughs> really beautiful to be out, outside right now. You're living so the dream. Great. That's my new room. Yes. Beautiful. Ashra. Yes. And I, yeah, she's, she's from uh, Lithuania. Yeah, yeah. Like, have like, we met you before? You think so? I don't know. Oh no, Osha, where are you from? Uh, uh, Kaunas. Okay, are you still there? No, I still in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, in Fort Lauderdale. Well, nice to meet you. I'm from Lietuva a long time ago. In '81, I came, and then uh, I was one of the first ones. And then, oh. and then I've been in Chicago for 38 years, and now I finally moved to Naples. So. Voila. <laughs> it's okay. So you have closer community. You know, Chicago is farther yeah. than the coast. You know? yeah. Yeah. Nice and I'm from you. Lithuania too. Yes. Yeah. I'm from Lithuania too. <laughs> wow. So yeah. 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 yeah, I so promise Osha a lot of Lithuanians. <laughs> <laughs> now you see. You 
know before you just telling now we can see them yeah yeah we only collect the most happiest people and most of them are from Lithuania <laughs> <laughs> good compliment yeah this is what they found I feel like uh, my room is outside you know when you open door you're just going to the beautiful smooth grass and like you see horizon and um, with the ocean you know with grass and salty water with beautiful uh sand and stones and rocks where you can sit down and put your feet and oh oscar's joining from the other room yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh why is she okay. like now oh i have to unmute her i pressed the wrong key it's okay yeah, yes yeah keep going keep going okay. yeah yeah, the grass, the ocean, the rocks, where you can sit down and put your feet in the water with the ocean and with the waves. And on the grass, in the grass, you have a lot of flower and bees, you know, uh, smells so refreshing and beautiful. And a lot of friendly people with the transparent clothes, you're just walking so comfortable no judgments you know everyone is like so united and uh, you can to feel love in the air and health and acceptance dancing you don't need to have music to play but everyone is this vibration of the nature you know the ocean and flowers and bees and like wind and you can to have you can feel a harmony connection and uh, very intimate it mean like nice and intimate relationships between people with their hugs and uh, everyone is so tempting and everyone is accept uh, acceptable uh, and, yeah this is how is my room look a lot of colors and that's so great colors. everyone sharing uh, we receive also new words here and we can add that to our rooms so. yeah so, <laughs> and united uh, just it makes your heart sing Mm -hmm. yeah so i really like my word like transparent kind of like you know it's like transparent i don't know it's just like you can see from the body to the soul and from the soul to the ocean you know it's just like everyone is just like human being and nature is like transparent i don't know it's just like somehow calling this word a lot this moment yeah yeah that's interesting like we all um gravitate to certain things and it, it has so much meaning for us so and, and sharing that is, is so wonderful thank you so i think everyone here susan you want to share a room with us <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing so i'm asking susan if she can share oh a room God. with us <laughs> hi everybody hello <laughs> Um, my name is Susan. Um, I didn't write a lot. Um, I'll say the last word first, manifestation. Right? Um, I had some hummingbirds on these white flowers at my house this week, and I trimmed the heck out of my palms so I could see the white flowers. And I, if the hummingbirds come back, I want to see them. I haven't seen hummingbirds in years. Have you guys? Yes, yes, I went to Costa yeah. Rica. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in Naples. Honey, honey wow. yeah. 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 Costa Rica. Yeah. That's very soon to go there. Yes, <laughs> lots of hummingbirds landing right on your shoulder. It's so gorgeous. I like the words harmony, worthiness, acceptance, calmness, consciousness, um, and love for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> love for yeah, my friend so John. Yeah, so Susan's building a whole relationship room. <laughs> and sometimes you have to build it new because nice there's, a, there's a new person in your life and then you have to like really define what is this new room looking like, this new kind of um, interaction relationship. And Sky and Yatek just walked in and uh, we also have today with us um, Jillian and Maddie. Jillian is Carissa's niece and Maddie is Carissa's daughter. And I would like to have Jillian speak a few words because we have a big asking and Jillian is here this week and next week to help us for so all of you. Stage to Jillian. Hi everyone. 
Hopefully you can see me. Yes. Um, so we are working on launching some exciting new products, but as we are working up to that point, we are really looking for your help to review our current products on Amazon and Goodreads. So if you are able to log on to your Amazon or Goodreads account and leave a review of six or seven words even, or a few sentences would be wonderful, um, to talk about how the book has, or all of our books, so workbooks and Connect to the Light and Ask and You Shall Receive, the impact that they've had on your life, how they have changed your life, how they have inspired you. We would really love to hear from you and we really, really appreciate your reviews because that helps us to get the word out there. Yeah, thank you. And, and we can also um, contact you with Adeline uh, directly if you require help, like coming up even with a sentence or you just want to have some hand holding or, and walking through everything. Yeah. How do I do a Goodreads account? How do I even like uh, do a, a review on Amazon? If you, if you have these questions, I'm happy to <laughs> loan you, uh, Jillian, to, to help you to do that. And it's really, it, it helps us a lot because there is an algorithm, obviously, and um, we have to fit some numbers, so we're trying to get that done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, and also what Jillian is doing right now, she's filming a, a, some of our friends with really cool miracle stories, and I know we all have them, so it's a 30 minute, uh, uh, 30 minutes, yeah, it's a 30 seconds, or an hour, or a minute of just, um, this what you write in the in the review um speaking that uh, that we can because we're both doing a real launch for ask any of so receive we just want to try it out carissa and i um that what does it do you know what is this, this online thing that is called like a click funnel and the launch and we're playing with all of that now yes so if you have any miracle stories um please email them Please email, yeah, or just call us and, and we write them down with you. So whatever is easiest for you. And we collected so many already and it's so much fun. Just within our group, there's so much miracles happening all the time. And then it's so much fun when you read them in a book form and then you can show your friends. Hey, come on, this is me. <laughs> this is my miracle story. So we had a lot of uh, good things with that already. So please, please, if you, if you wish to contribute, do so. Yes, and Jillian, who you just met, it, her stories, she had a few stories in asking you to receive. One of them was um, getting the full ride scholarship to college, and now she's graduated and here. Uh, and what other stories did we have of yours, Jillian, in there? Um, well, a couple from my mom. Yeah. My mom is good at declaring things up and getting them right away. <laughs> right. Right. So, Jillian, can you share with us, and we're going to just take one moment, will you share with us the story of you getting your car again? Oh, yes. So, the day, most recent the day before story. my birthday this year, my mom was driving my younger brother to school and got into, in my car, got into a car accident and totaled the car. Um, and so I was uh, having some doubts in my faith about how I was going to replace my car. Um, and so we, during the time, um, shortly after that, we came to uh, visit family and over New Year's, we were declaring about my new car. And so I said that I wanted the exact same car as I had before, but a newer model. Um, the color that I wanted was very specific and rare. Um, and I needed it to be a good price. Um, and so turns out that we found the exact car that we needed through CarMax the first time that we looked for it. Um, it was the lowest amount of miles we have ever seen from a car on CarMax. And it just so happened that the one that they had was the red color that I wanted. Um, and the price range was a little bit high. And so I said, oh, it's everything that I wanted except for the price. Um, and then the next day we got a call from the insurance company telling us that they were going to give us way more for the total car than I thought that we were. So it ended up being exactly in my price range too. <laughs> That's my new car. It's wonderful. <laughs> so now you yeah, see what it makes. And it's the same kind, right? It's, it's the your, exact same yeah. car. It's the yeah, exact like same newer. car. Yeah. But newer. Yeah. Newer, and she got it, and the insurance company paid for it. So now you see. Julian's a master manifestor. Dick, she got all three years college paid for and left with money in her pocket. Um, so, so this is when you grow up with Aunt Carissa <laughs> and this miracle <laughs> storytelling all the time and you sit down right now and you declare yeah. whatever you wish to have. Yeah. We did that at, <laughs> she was here visiting last time at um, New Year's to get her car. So um, miracles do exist, they're all the time. It's when we can remain satisfied, when we can get very specific. The reason I ask you to pick your pen up right away and just start imaging, everything comes when we image. 
That is the way we bring it into this, this universe. We image it, we imagine it, and then we speak and write the words, the exact words, and we edit those words um, into perfection. And that's why it's so nice to share here. And if there's words that can be transformed or even made um, happier, more energetic and better, uh, that's what we're excited to uh, bring forth. And the CD that we were talking about, um, Receive Inspirations, that is 33 minutes. And of course, it turned out exactly 33 minutes. God is so good. Uh, of affirmations that can just help build that pattern, that muscle, like going to the gym and repeating that muscle of, of all the glory. So I remind you again, and Jillian is a great example as a young person, a 21-year-old um, example of how easy this is when you're a God trader. So the person or the being or the entity, however you want to say it, vibrational field that we're asking for, everything is God. If you have an invoice yet outstanding, guess who's going to pay it? God. So if you are a God trader, then you're always expecting God to buy your furniture, God to provide your car, God to bring your love to you, God to do it all. Oftentimes we get a little hooked up into um, asking others, humans, for things. And when you have a big project, the, the, the flow, the source, the absolute power is God. So please go directly there. And that is what Connect to the Light is all about, right? That when we hook onto the connection of God, that's when everything is. So be aware when, it, when you feel like you're, I'm going to use the word struggling, the only person you're struggling with or being is you and yourself. And that check, have you really gone to God to be a God trader at, or have you been trading with this world in this world and yet of God's world, God tells us. And if we're trading here in this world, we're horse trading and you're going to get some shit. So <laughs> just be completely aware that the minute you go back to God trading, the miracle is already there instantly. If you've asked for it, it's already done. Um, so I'll just share for a minute on my room and I have many rooms also. And the first room, I, whenever I go into my couple deep breaths and, and see is similar to what JJ said, I love it because it's a big water fountain and lots of green grass and a nice table set up all set with different food and like a beautiful picnic. And, and I added, thanks to the, the help here, uh, my beach room, because I do like to walk out just like uh, we were sharing here and having that, that sand and the ocean. And I envision little chairs set up there that you can just lay in your umbrellas all ready for you. And I it got to experience that while this whole thing was going on. We stayed at La Playa and it was so nice to just open that glass door <laughs> as you were sharing with us and step out onto the beach. And then just take in that nature, do the meditation. And I have all the wonderful, um, the great, food, the beauty, the happiness, the joy, the nature, the ocean, the warmth, the white sand, the success, that's the surprises that are waiting, the breath of life that is there while I'm in that meditative gorgeous state, the happiness, um, all the warm welcomes of, of any other beings and animals that are around, peace and stillness, smiles, blue sky, clean water, clean air. Um, it, it's just so wonderful to, to laughter and nature, the, the birds singing, you can just feel that and feel those waves. And, and I want to remind everybody, if you just can visualize the ocean, the ocean is God's supply. And when that ocean comes, it comes in waves of abundance. And it's interesting because the waves just keep coming towards you, right? And then guess what? They, they just stay right there. They just kind of they come and they come and they come. Does anything ever go? No, <laughs> it just keeps coming back and coming back at you, coming back, coming back at you. And the only sound you hear is it coming towards you. Coming towards you, coming towards you. Just think of those waves coming in. Isn't it interesting? We always think we're possibly this word losing something. So the energy and the patterns, the hypnotic rhythm of the universe just brings more and more. I love my brother's one who said that. There's always just more and more and more. And when we're God trading, you're going to be able to tap into that more and more in every moment. So God trade and then expect it directly from God and then listen to those waves or sit by the ocean for a moment and just feel or put on the waves on your computer and just see how they just come in 
and the noise is coming in and then they just dissipate and more just keeps coming. So I, I share that. It's just such a, a wonder. And I'm going to let Sylvie pick which chapter. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was sharing my Yeah, you yeah share your room. <laughs> and then you tell us which chapter we're going for. Um, so my room, I, I was really inspired by the travel theme earlier. So um, for me, it's always like I have one room for every city I'm still going to live in. So there's this... Um, asking of mine that I wish to like stay full-time in Naples yes but however I wish to have like certain uh, times of the year like uh, approximately half a year somewhere else so part of it is uh, you know with relatives in Germany for Christmas for example because it's so nice with the Christmas markets and then there is a part where I wish to just take three months and live in a country of my choice so I have this whole list already uh, how these places look like or where they are so that has to be some something in Sweden because I wish to brush up on my Swedish so I have like a good foundation I just want to be like really fluent like I am in English now so and then I wish to have three months in Israel so I'm envisioning all of my rooms like this one room is in Israel and this one room is in in Spain and I have yet to decide where in Spain maybe Barcelona I like that very much I traveled a lot of my time so um, for me it's a lesson what I did in my old times being in a different port each day I rather want to stay like for three months and, and really delve into the language and the culture and as I said like I experienced the cultural foods even more than just in the little time I had being there so now like really forming friendships so and one room is completely just for scuba diving for me so what kind of uh, scuba places I still wish to visit so um, I remember like last time uh, Jacek had the shirt on with uh, Galapagos so that's definitely one of my rooms seeing the Hamad migration there and also the beautiful land animals uh, Komodo Borans and then there is when I envision my main room of like when I when I close my eyes and go back to this is my this is my heaven this is my place uh, to be I always envision myself also it's like kind of beach like and then there's a rainforest in the background with all these beautiful um, uh, voices from the nature like the um, the parrots that live there so I envision it like I, I once been in Suriname in the rainforest um, so it's like it's part of the Amazon still and there were like this huge um, the biggest parrots uh, I forgot the name parakeets um, oh, the biggest yeah. macaws. One, macaws flying directly and then there was the one from I only know this one from from a Kellogg box <laughs> you know, like a toucan yeah. <laughs> so and then it was right there <laughs> yeah. yeah what is his name Fruit Loops <laughs> the Fruit Loops yeah exactly this one <laughs> about nature <laughs> so yeah. and then there was like the, the monkeys coming and eating out of the hands because they were excited for every every little thing there and so this is like my kind of background because I, I liked it so much being there outdoors and then the river and the stream uh, on the side and also but like I'm still an ocean person being on the ships for years and being um, like, I'm a scuba diver still and so for me it's like really there has to be ocean it looks like the Maldives you know where have the jetty going out and you can actually have this uh, little cabin right on the water mm -hmm. and there's a little hole maybe in the uh, in the heart itself with the glass door that you can uh, and the lights underneath that at night all the fish come and you can just you know lay in your bed and look at the at the ocean through the glass so that is my main room so anyone else like we have like some other members coming here so you want to share your your room Behind your glasses. Very similar to Christmas. With the glasses and the nature and the flowers and the smells and the birds and all the animals coming and the horses right there. Yeah. Eating from the window. Okay, I'm adding horses in my life. Oh, yeah, I'm adding horses too because I love them. Right. No car, no problem. Horse. Yeah. And some mountains like that. Oh, musical instruments all over the oh, place. Yes. And the paintings uh, there and the music. And uh, yeah, James Stephen walking by. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or <Part of> the staff. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, God staff, yeah. Cool, uh, um, sofa 
goes next to the window so I can just lay and watch nature and enjoy the rain or sunshine and the, in the lake and the, oh, it's beauty of the nature. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to add a couch, see? <laughs> <laughs> Horses and a couch. Yeah. I mean, my room, like next to the couch, is a bookshelf. <laughs> I have a bookshelf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, in all the rooms, it's Wi Fi. <laughs> I don't know Wi Fi. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. My room is actually not exactly room, but it will be a good structure that is nicely built on a big roof. So you can put at least like a car, one car lift in there. No <laughs> crawl outdoors, big old slab in the front to park some equipment, maybe perhaps <laughs> some cars inside, slats for different tools like automotive, woodworking, steel, aluminum, and the miscellaneous and a little place to you know, to, to have a personal desk that you can work on projects. But you also have your lab laboratory, like with the that you can cook the almonds yeah, and the empty and, and, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. Right, um, and on the outside. <laughs> colloidal so silver, yeah. colloidal gold. That's where all the uh, all the stuff on the outside and you know, that big old slab is forever. Maybe a little 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 roof over that, so in case it rains, you can still. Do your stuff, and that's uh, when it's also the closed or open as I wish, and so I can have air conditioning if I need to. But mostly open. Big fans in there, breeze blowing across doors, so you can open it up. When it's raining, you can still work with a nice breath of fresh air. Beautiful. Pretty, pretty industrial. <laughs> Very useful. Very nice. That's yeah. it's probably open. All I'll our donate the product. tank back to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I mean, it was the enormous right. tank. That would be the best place for it. For yep. the yeah, our very valuable tank yes. that Avi made. Yeah, James Stephen, what's your what's your room when you open your grand doors of your life? What is your what is your life? And my room is going to be um, expensive. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's going to be expensive and it's going to like contain expansive, all like expensive. Big, big space. Big space. And it's just filled with beautiful things. The things that I love. What and that? It's, there's going to be places for watching, uh, playing music, and I'll have various new musical instruments. And uh, there'll be recording arrangements. And then where I can, I can send out, also I can perform and send out to the world, beautiful music. Is there audience with you? Oh, there will be audience. There'll be space. There'll be space where people can come. It'll be like, like practice room. That's performance space. Uh, and, and share with friends and, and and plenty of room for musicians. And now all the nice, nice amplification. You know, and sound equipment is there. That's it's all. Good. Everyone can do music together. Yeah, they don't have to bring their amplifier. You know, wow. thing. In fact, we won't even have, they won't have to bring their amp, but their, their instrument, they'll just tell me what they need and it'll be there. They just walk in. And we'll be able to, sh to share this with, with our friends locally and around the world. And then we'll have space for doing meditation and, and singing and chanting sacred music. Um, we'll have uh, just a lot of beautiful people that live like it'd be like a community where there'd be people who are living in a community of sharing this light and sharing music and sharing inner awareness. Yeah, food there and like a cafe. Or well, actually, lunch. thank you. It reminded me, I forgot we were going to actually have gardens around. So we'll have all of our, our, our food coming. And those in those gardens and adjacent will be ponds where we can swim and sport, and, and, you know, and it'd be very close to the ocean and the mountains. So we'll have both, because I love the mountains and I love the ocean, so it'll have that. Wow. And then it, the house will be mainly like this beautiful, beautiful space. The structure would be primo. So. And, <laughs> and it'll be like just a beautiful structure, like, you know, like, like in Bali, you know, some like a, somewhere some between. Flowers like, also. Yeah, and just ornate right. carvings and beautiful woods, because I love wood. Um, 
and then beautiful plants in the so house. So you have a room to like do something with woodwork? Uh, well, my woodwork is the violin <laughs> <laughs> and instruments, but uh, however, there, there definitely there definitely should be a, uh, a place where people can make do crafts and painting and and carving and, and creating things. It's just to be a place of creative creativeness and um, beautiful uh, bedroom space, very comfortable and uh, very loving and, and joyful with beautiful colors. I could go on. I'm imagining one with you here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. nice to wow. see you. Yeah. 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 Well, my room is um, a giant library. Like, what? if anyone, yeah, <laughs> Matt, Matt and I share a room because Maddie and I are happy places together. Uh, so, if any of you have seen Beauty and the Beast, the animated one, mine is that giant library that the Beast has. It's like three stories so that you will always have a book. Nice. And it has lots of nice. ladders to go up to the second and third story. And it has really, really tall <laughs> windows so that there's always natural light coming through. But at night, you can see the stars. It starts on the first floor, so you can just go outside from the library. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and then there's really nice, cushy, but classy looking couches. And it's nice and quiet, so everybody can purple. come and sit there. Yes, yeah, purple couch. <laughs> and velvet. And velvet, yeah. And, and many other yes. dogs running around. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly girls. Yeah, there you go. It could also be Possibly menagerie girls. of animals. That's good, too. That's why we need to know. Yeah. But we'll have, like, part of the a little nice, like, patio outside that all the animals can run around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else to add to that? <laughs> that's, that's, that's fabulous. Stained glass windows. Yeah. Oh yeah. That Maddie's art. And Maddie's art. Yes. Patrick. Patrick. What's your room? Um, well, oddly enough, it, my room is being developed. Um, about a year ago, I imagined this room down on the beach in Tulum, Mexico, where I've been living on and off for ten years, and it's a Perfect, the Ferrari of retreats uh, for, to come down and rejuvenate and reconnect to nature. And um, so I got a call from this woman like two months ago that I used to date, and she's like, I want you to design this hotel for me. And I'm like, really? And I'm like, all right. So I've been spending the last two months just developing this Ferrari of uh, retreat centers for her to reconnect That's the right. frequencies of the ground and nature and the sun and solar timing and food and every frequency that we use to evolve from and mm -hmm. including mind body and spirit and and then breaking off the frequencies like the cell towers cell phones and to get people you know, mm -hmm. back to where they belong you know connected yes. so that's why I, you know i started seeing some of my books so it's just funny how i met you through my friends six months ago and then little things you know get sprinkled in my brain yes yes um, yeah. and so we are happy to come and check out this ferrari of retreat center <laughs> <laughs> to retreat there yeah, yeah so do a retreat we opened there. december 15th uh, beautiful wow it's 26 room because like we said like last meeting we said like one of our bigger rooms is also create a beautiful life yeah and but i thought about it and she came to me and yeah. know, she knows that i know what i'm doing you know, I'm engineering. So our That's vision is also cool. like having five different spa or retreats each year, each year. like traveling and yeah. then bringing everyone with us, our friends, and just play and, and enjoy and fill in our journals every day and just create, create, create and being in the highest vibration ever and beautiful joy and, yeah, and positivity. Connect so. to the light. I like it. Connect. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Well, while we're on the theme then, how, how is this if we go right and stay with sure. nature since everybody was talking? Okay, so we are now time. in chapter 11 from Connect to the Light. And page 158. Yeah, page 158. And we are talking about flow with nature because now everyone describing their room, we have some nature elements up there and we can connect to nature. And 158. Yeah, and there's so many, many things we can learn from nature. So Carissa will start reading and we can go around and then there is also some a little exercise. exercise. Yeah. So God is expressing himself through humanity and nature. Nature is perfect. God created everything in perfection. There is an innate understanding in nature. Nature obeys God's laws. Nature flows and continues on. Nature follows God's seasons. 
We also flow and transition with the seasons. The earth rotates around the sun and we are privileged to experience the sensation of sunrises and sunsets. Most of nature comes alive when the sun is visible and rest as darkness appears. Let's take a minute now if we all can just close our eyes and visualize yourself out, either out on that beach that we were talking about or sitting under the sun as it sits on our face for a moment and just really feel what sunshine is to you. How does that change your cellular feeling and how does it um, enhance your mood? So just take a few deep breaths and just feel the warmth of the sun on your face. And feel the blessing that God has given you with this beautiful sun that shines on us every day. Hear the sounds of nature around you, if it's birds or if it's waves, if it's a stream, waterfall. And just feel that sun shining on you. And then slowly open your eyes and take a moment to record right on the next page there. And as we were out in the sun for this 10 minutes in a day, what do you feel? What do you really feel? What emotions come to you when you get a chance to just step out? So imagine yourself, and if you have a patio at home, when you first step out, what do you feel in that sun? And go ahead and record it down in, in the space that we gave you right on page 159. So I feel heat and warmth. I feel light and it makes me calm and relaxed when I go outside in the sun. Sometimes it even makes me a little tired if I stay a long time in the sun. And Sylvie, what do you feel in the sun? I always imagine that the light comes into every cell of my being and rejuvenates me and, and like really um, gives the, the sun energy into my cells and, and my little cells, my mitochondria <laughs> can, can work even better and faster because I got more fuel for, for doing my ATP. So, um, so of course I feel like completely warm and happy and um, yeah, just the light by itself wakes me up and, and rejuvenizes me and, and enlightens me. So also seeing uh, sitting on the sun, I can actually, my connection with God is so much better and I can, in this moment of silence, I can even hear the voice or feel the feeling of whatever is my next step. And I, I receive a lot of ideas and inspiration. So inside from the light. All right, anybody else want to share what the sunshine does for them? Well, I always love to be in the sun after being in the ocean. That's when I most really enjoy the sun. And how does it make you feel? Uh, it's exactly ecstatic. When, when after being in the ocean and then just warming up the body with the sun, it, it just stirs everything to um, like a boil, boiling water. And it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, and I love the feeling of my body just being bathed with light. Yes. Light, so light. Light. Mm -hmm. You too. We had that one day of like shame darkness. But so different, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last couple of days have been a little dark, and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> I moved to Florida for a reason. You yeah. didn't realize how much you depend on it. Yes, yes, you depend on it exactly. It's like a cell phone battery, I feel like I get charged. My feet are connected like an anode of a battery, and the sun's the cathode, and my body charges the electrons, the flow, the free energy, the photon energy, charges the body with UV light, and resets the immune system. And yes. All the science of it, you know, actually uh, occurs. So. It's yeah, important. you can kind of feel that occurring. Absolutely. I do feel it. Yeah. 
is so amazing. TD. Yes, we're, we're solar beings. Mm, I always feel peace and, and joyful play of my face in the sunshine. And it calms me and warms me, uh, relaxes me. Uh, it naturally recharges my electric self. I just remember also some, something. So um, when, when, when JJ spoke, I was like, oh, it's a tickling on the skin. And what happens to me is like, actually, when I go outside and the first ray of sun hits me, I always sneeze. I always sneeze. And it's so interesting. Oh, really? I, I always think like, oh, it's all the all the energy from an inside room just coming out of me and now I'm like free to receive the better of the energy <laughs> so I'm just clearing it's a complete clearance for me and, and, it, and just as had she <laughs> like makes me laugh and makes me happy immediately <laughs> it could be a vitamin B one <laughs> <laughs> most likely it has to be in response to the sun something I look into <laughs> I'm talking about some allergies here. <laughs> <laughs> you too. The light, the light, the light. But I always imagine that if I feel warm or or sun, it absolutely it reminds me the the light. Um, period. And then how people underappreciate and we like to and believe that it's absolutely it's opposite. How can you believe in something beautiful like this that is bad for you? And they do. That makes me sad. Yeah, like a lot of people don't know what they're missing. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I do. I totally am with you on the fact that. <laughs> I enjoy it when I'm trying to try to get things. And it's just, and There's everything. only you, Yatsi. Yeah. Yeah. Only you. I can be really. There's only you. You and your creator. That's it. Great. That's all right. But that's what I am. Light, I see light. Yeah, light, light. Thank you. Light, I see light. Light, I see light. light. Yeah. light. Yeah. It's always interesting how much you learn from each other, just in this group here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the sunlight, I feel warm, Sky, happy. Did Sky say something? Released, quiet. It's okay. she will skip the next one. At peace, energized, <laughs> activated, calm, soothed, good, reassured, connected. Feel the incredible surge of energy we received from the rays of the sun. Sitting in the sun made me realize another duality of light, the calming, relaxing, quiet aspect of it. So as it, James Stevens was sharing us, it was energizing him. It's also, so it's got this too, it totally activates all your cells, it makes you sneeze, Sylvie, and yet it also has this relaxing, a lot of people wanna take a nap out in the sun. Your couch. <laughs> There, Skyder did add her couch looking out in the sun. Um, so it, it is energizing and activating. Uh, my mood lifted instantly to joyous and happy. I felt enlightenment. My body was charging as solar panels harnessing light energy. We too receive nourishing nourishment from sitting in the sun. Yeah, and that's exactly what you were saying too. You just know that you're, you're totally recharged. It's the physics is a fact, a fact of who you are. Marissa, did you say was? We are. Yeah. Did you say was? Oh, oh. We are recharging. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. We think you, we are. And the ground while it's like, yeah, it's happening, you're actually ground. grounding. Yeah. So it's really closing the charge. Like yeah. Like, like Tesla showed us, it's that, that circuitry. Yeah. The uh -huh. DC current for the human body. Yeah. So that's reminding us that when we are out in the sun, kick off your shoes, yeah. put your feet Definitely. on the ground. And it healed me probably back to 10 years ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to share? You can share your story a little bit. Yeah. About. yeah Where's your story? Um, horrible gut issues. I was living a normal, standard American life in Chicago, and living in a high rise, and making all kinds of money, and drinking alcohol, and doing all the bad things. And, and then I hit a wall and got very sick, and I had to give up my company. And, you know, I got some money out of it, but it was, it was a really difficult time. So my friend's like, come on down to Mexico and stay in Playa del Carmen with me. And I'm like, why not? So I went down there, and a month later, all my health issues were gone. All these lifelong issues of fatigue and um, all these things. Yeah. And I realized over time that 
my gut was so damaged. My intestines don't yeah. absorb enough nutrients, electrons yeah. through the food. So I was starving of electrons and the sun and the ground fed me. Right, and that was why I moved out of the Midwest. I was yeah. Wisconsin born. Oh, okay. And as soon as I was 20, I was out of there. Out Finished the university and the first plane out of there. Went to California where it was sunny. Yeah, that's where I was originally. Yeah, Wasn't good enough. simply though to start my desire to be charged by the sun. Yeah, and yeah. that's most people flock to that. So that's my, you know, it really did heal me indirectly and I didn't know. I didn't need any vitamins or supplements besides magnesium and vitamin C. I was off everything. And I, I was perfect. Then I went back to Chicago, got sick again. Oh my goodness. So, so, I kept so you knew. So Stop no. going to Chicago. Well, I got any, anywhere in the U.S. really. I know. It's just, it's just yeah. you know. Was it alcohol? Well, alcohol was a contributing factor. But I wasn't breastfed and it was, you know, cesarean and mercury fillings, things that damage the intestinal yeah. lining and then right. genetic factors. So right. now I become, you know, a holistic. Yeah. I train people how to reverse chronic illness. I didn't know alcohol is all GMO corn yeah. in the world. Nasty. GMO corn. Yeah, gross. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, Alcohol is really that. bad. Yeah. It is. A little it's bit sugar, of, yeah. A little yeah, tequila yeah. from Oaxaca, you know, some Temescal isn't too bad. I mean, a little tequila is all right once in a while. Depends yeah. who's making it. Yeah. <laughs> so, and anyway, from yeah. What? thanks for listening. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, virtual, our grounding. Virtual land up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My darling's online. Anyone wants to share also their son? experience yeah my son sneezes in the sun, as soon as he's the sun four times every single time he goes out of the house or even if sun comes in you know into the whatever through the through the window he just right away starts sneezing yeah might be a b1 with deficiency <laughs> <That's what I laughs> <laughs> well, they say that actually, like one out of every eight people, that just is the what happens. Just malabsorption, assimilation. So now we know everyone like GI restore. Go to the store tomorrow, get some GI restore or something like that. Like, yeah. Take care of your gut. Walk <laughs> around yourself, or like be in the sun, sneeze first, and then just. Get <laughs> okay, that was that was my son. But me, I I feel like really really super thing especially well i'm born so can have left side a lot but outside too so especially if you come from inside you go out and it's like it's so like nice and comfortable like comforting yeah. feels like it's like sun hugging you yeah yeah that that feeling i always always get yeah. And then it's, it's kind of, um, I kind of it's like energizes you, of course. Always wanted to get some fresh plants, like fre fresh some green green plants to eat straight from like from a garden. Like okay, all the energy, life energy, some some energy is in there. Depends how much money you go. Yeah, it, it is so beautiful. The sun just. I think that's why most of us here in Naples have come down here and stayed down here uh, because that sun just is so, it's so rewarding. Yes, it really is just so wonderful. That's why I moved here. That's why we all moved here. I think. <laughs> Anyone has another reason for being here? I just ended up here. By <laughs> <laughs> accident. By accident. I came from, but the weather is fine, right? I came from Tucson, so it wasn't that different. <laughs> well, dry, damp. Dry. It's, it, it's the same now, like in the Makes you happy for sure. If yeah. I lived in London for five years. So <laughs> I barely ever, ever saw any sun. So it's like everybody's it like moving sure. miserable. It makes me happy for sure. That's like my first requirement. Big difference. And I, I studied in Hamburg, Germany. Yeah, and Hamburg is like the city, it's like London, it's the same. It's almost the same, like, yeah. otherwise. And every time when I, I mean, my, my desk was right at the window and I remember, I kind of, kind of I maybe have one or two memories where we were outside sitting on the grass studying, but most mm -hmm. of my memories are sitting at my desk and slide because it was raining. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and it was okay to be inside and studying because it was raining. So, but now we have like so much more to experience. So, mm -hmm. is, is a good we allow ourselves to be free the time. 
have the fragile. Yeah. We have it, and we're so gifted. Yeah. All and right. when we really saw like how important that is, like we know, like in California, like everyone is still like so much inside. Yeah, still inside. They're in different counties. We are. Yes, See, I, where I'm at, it's very, very hot, dry, hot. Yeah, it just um, got hot. It doesn't feel that bad, yeah. but but we we are. And they're saying it's like everybody's like low on the vitamin D. It's like how can you be from California and low on vitamin D? Yeah. Nobody <laughs> goes. In, nobody goes out. Yeah, the the beach was closed for a week, and everyone was like. You know, like there was like a, this big riot going on just because like uh, I mean the beach was closed for one week. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was terrible when it was closed. It was terrible. <laughs> it was unbelievable. <laughs> from a mile and a half from the beach. We wouldn't like, go a whole month, but the moment they closed the beach, we were yeah. crazy. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> we have to have the the, the freedom. The, uh, yeah, yeah to be in the country and not the have, have that freedom. That sucks. Well, and the other thing, though, that's interesting is the beach is what brings you your health, the ions from the, the negative ions from the ocean air and the salt. And so it was interesting. I would think that they'd want people to go to the beach. So you have to take your own consideration for yourself and take charge of yourself. So I stuck on the beach every day. Yeah. And you just did it anyways, right? <laughs> Exactly. Stick with your own thoughts and, and get in your common sense corner. On the East Coast. Take good. care of yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so I want to mention again about the hypnotic rhythm. And so we're on page 162. And, and nature flows with a rhythm. All the vines that grow around the tree grow in the same way. The universe, all the planets are rotating. They're in a constant hypnotic rhythm. And I love to... Napoleon Hill spoke of the hypnotic rhythm. If we understand that if you are out in the galaxies and you, that was like a magic carpet, it's, it's all flowing, all flowing, all the star masses are flowing. And life should be as flowing and powerful as if you just jumped on that magic carpet and you let yourself flow and allow, flow and allow. So a good, personal test is if anything in your life ever feels less than that gorgeous flow and allow where you are feeling like you're out in the sunshine happy and energized and joyful then check with yourself and say wait a second the bible verse that's right there on page 162 says you do not belong to the world but i have chosen you out of this world into this beautiful galactic perfection and it's up to you to choose what you were chosen for. So you're chosen for riding on those stars. You're chosen for that galactic flow and allow. And it's only the only person who can stop you from that flow and allow is yourself. That's the only energy that can take you off that. Some people say, oh, it's the evil, it's the devil, it's the this, it's the that. It's only you, it's all you, it's all you. <laughs> So either flow with it, and how do you know you're flowing with it? When your gut feels relaxed and you feel joy in your heart mm -hmm. and it all feels good again. Mm -hmm. And so, so remember that when you're feeling like you're in this world and yet it's t you, you know that the belonging to this world is less than what you came for, then say to yourself, am I horse trading? We're back to this. Or am I God trading? Do, am I using and, and, and having total faith that the information is already in the seed? All the information is already in the seed. So how much do you really need to learn? It's all fun to do all this. It's already there. If you could trust, and that's what we rediscover the truth is right on the cover of all of our books. If you can rediscover the truth that the information is already in the seed and all you have to do is choose to keep, and this is just with your story, Keep your feet in rich soil. So Chicago's soil didn't work for you, as well as going to Mexico or, or a place where you could actually get some sunshine on your skin and some joy in your heart and better food or mm -hmm. uh, walk barefoot in the, mm -hmm. in the beach more often. So when we plant ourselves, we're the seed. When we plant the seed in good soil and we make sure the sun is shining on us and the water is gently watering us mm -hmm. and and always think of what is your good soil what makes your heart sing that's why we went around some people wanted ocean and other people like mountains and 
your room had tools and yours had music equipment in it. Make sure you're planting your plant, your music plant in a place where there's music, your building plant in a place where there's building. For me, uh, for the library, plant, plant yourself in a library. That's so important for you to realize that your seed, if it's a cherry seed, it takes a different growing yeah. cycle than a tomato seed. So, so please, please know your seed, joyfully encourage it, put it in the soil that's going to be the most germinating for your seed, and, and then let it grow according to God's and your will combined. It's already done. He made the seed, and now you are just allowing it, putting it in the right soil to, to make that happen. So, so keep understanding that you were chosen out of this world. Please allow your feet to lift up, be yoked to Christ, and let him do all the glory. And that's why this group is so wonderful, because we're transforming our vocabulary to call in the glory into each of our own lives. And Jillian was helping me today. We were sitting down. We did about 17 pages of phrases that, that humans speak. That what is holy mackerel? Does that mean anything to anybody? Holy cow. Uh, we say things, what were some of the other ones, Julia, that you remember? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Does that really, can we really say the creation of what it is that our, we'd like our seed to grow into? Um, I, I use the, 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 we're talking about the sky here. The sky's the limit. If you look up there, <laughs> is there any room for the word limit in that sentence? It's amazing. What we'll say as humanity. Mm -hmm. um, no doubt about it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. what, what, how about absolute certainty? Mm -hmm. So when we change our tongue, because the tongue, again, is like the sun. The tongue is adding, adding energy. <laughs> and it's, it's a vibrational energy. So that's the fun that we have when we come together and, and double check. Are we, when we're writing, are we calling forth? And then editing what we're really calling in because all the information's already there. Now we're watering it and you're watering your life with your word. Uh, so be totally joyfully creating with it. And now Jillian has just typed up 17 pages of corrections we can all make. <laughs> we had so many already. <laughs> yes, we had so many in asking you shall receive. You have some and you have some uh, in the other books too. So now we're having a... a it's called Blessed by the Tongue. It'll be all the words that we're changing into positive words and all the phrases, and then some words to actually just eliminate out of your vocabulary, uh, like fear, et cetera, just to eliminate them. You eliminate the Bill Gates out of his book. Yeah, well, the, the idea is <laughs> everybody's he, he perfect. Must have, he must have done this before COVID. So. Yeah. Although everybody's <laughs> perfect, so this is the challenge, the joyful challenge. Yeah, right. Can we allow everybody's perfection and can we be joy around it? So, so remember, if you're ever going to remove you or anybody else, you're still you around this world. So we can push and sort. And that's why Jesus himself said, we're going to let the snares grow with the seed. So then why would he let the weeds grow with the seeds? Well, he's gonna, he'll be the one to sort at the end. He says, why are we all growing up together? That's the energy field. We're, we're in this together, you heard that saying, and it's the energy field is perfect because we need people having, like Abraham Hicks says, a level one experience blowing energy around. That helps us have level two and three experience because we, we love lots of energy. So it's good that some humanity is just blowing energy around, leaf blowers. You know, you watch those guys in your gardens here, and you just wonder what exactly that is all about, right? They're really so much loud noise. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to wake me them. up every morning. <laughs> right, and yeah, it's just blowing like... energy around. So we have a lot of people that, that joyfully are blowing energy around, and that's so nice because we can take that energy, and if we train ourselves up in our tongues, we can use that energy for greater things. So the more leaf blowers, the better. So really including the one you just mentioned, be very thankful that we have leaf blowers. Thankful I must <laughs> check my body with something. Else. Yeah, although who's in charge of your body? Me. That's the thing. If I want to get on an airplane and fly to Mexico, I'm going to have to have an injection now. Really? Yeah. That's, but but always have choice? yet, think about it. We no, always have not, a choice. I will not fly. I will drive over the border. Or you'll right? get a, your own private jet. No, all right. no, We're all going to get a jet. Yeah. 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 I've already get a subscription to a private jet. There's always a solution. Yeah, 
So when solution. you call forth the solution, the solution has an opportunity. That's why I loved all your imaging, James Stephen and Yatsik's imaging. If you can keep imaging, the universe has only one option to give you what you image. So keep imaging. So those, that two sentences that you gave us of complaining, I'd rather have you had, you had three sentences of imaging. My private jet is going to look like this. It's going to seat this many people. It's going to be so fast and direct. I'm excited um, about that. Yeah, they will take I, you all down can with I us. picture his jet crashing in the ocean? No. Well, that, what is that going to benefit you? I will, the whole world won't have to get injected. <laughs> <laughs> although, although, if you give one thought to that, then, okay, all right. you're part of belief blowers. If of you, belief yes. Blowers. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Though the fact is, you're either creating with great imaging, or your leaf blower. So that's why we're sitting here with pens and paper and books and JJ's so kind and asked to let us have this, this moment in their home so that we can be part of the solution. We can be part of the greatness. We can be part of the imaging. Think of all your friends. How many people are sitting here doing great imaging right now, right? Of all your friends, we are sitting here doing something that's changing the world because we're imaging and the world always answers the imaging. So that's why this is so important. I talk about the 80 some people that are part of this group. How important it is that a few of us get it. Somebody has to hold the imaging. Jesus Christ himself held the imaging. He also had 12 disciples that he said, go out in twos and hold the imaging. That, that everything's possible all the time. That, that there's miracles in every moment. That you can heal the blind and heal the sick and fix your own arm, whether it has this in it or that in it. You can fix it yourself with your own mind. So, so if you have that strong of a mind, right, you can fix the whole universe. And, and it, isn't about, it isn't about redoing somebody else's yuck. It's about you creating something awesome, better. And when you create something better, everything else is an illusion and falls away. So keep imaging, keep creating. And that's what nature is about, right? Can you, can, let's think about it. How often does the, the grass stop growing into something prettier? Just oh, keeps man. going. <laughs> the trees just keep growing bigger. And right here, you have to chop them down every single week. They're like out there, uh, you know, cutting everything back because everything just keeps mm -hmm. growing. So nature has, it's already set in that motion to keep growing and solving and, and prayers getting answered. It just grows bigger and bigger. And your solutions to all that little stuff you talked about and the names you mentioned is already growing into a better solution, a better solution. So if you can keep your mind imaging up here, those people are, are imaging down here. Lower vibrational field. That they're, it's trying to be. they're just blowing stuff around. You're imaging and creating greatness with your imaging. Your seed is, is being nurtured and germinated. If you mention those two sentences five times to five different people, the two sentences you mentioned to me, now tenfold you're going to get back that BS. We here are going to be absolutely fine with private jets going to wherever, just so you know. That's who we are. Yeah, you can get on our jets. Yes. Because we're going to be going there, and our arms are going to be just fine, and our skin is going to be our own. Because we're going to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> There's Patrick. Go get him up. Get the blower out of his hand. Patrick is going to fill us a plane <laughs> in his vision room. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so this is the fun, Patrick. It, it is catching each other saying, wait, am I imaging the biggest and the strongest and the best I possibly can? And that's why you have a prayer partner. Well, I wouldn't be doing that and then this thing happened. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, but, well, but wait a second. Now I have to change. You know, yeah. Just... Although this thing is a great thing because we all imaged it. So I just, I offer this up to everybody. Have any of us ever said, oh, I'd love to stay home for a few weeks? Yes, we have. Yeah, they're, they're Who created this COVID? Raise your hands if everybody said, let's stay home for a few weeks, right? Has everybody ever said, oh, you know what? I'd like to stay home from work for two months. You know, how many people have thought a thought? Okay, but thought a thought, right? Have we ever said, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I didn't have to wake up at 7 a.m. for school in the morning? You know how many kids would wish to not yeah, wake up for 7 a.m. for school? Yeah, yeah. Rather take it online. Well, it sounds so good. I'm sure every kid had their hand up. How about younger kids? You could stay home with mom. Mom can be your teacher. I bet you there were all kinds of kids' hands up saying, that sounds nice. I love my mommy. I'd rather be at home with my food and my uh, toys. So, so <laughs> who created this? Come on. Everybody put both hands up. We all did. And the fun thing is there's so much benefit from what just happened because change is awesome. It's the only possibility. Remember, this is gonna what? Is, this, is, the, is the tree ever gonna stop growing? 
wait, the tree is going to keep Always going. Always going to keep moving. And so the more we jump on and laugh about it, we jump on and take responsibility for it and say, isn't this great? What did I create? And, and so I'm going to make you all laugh really hard. I prayed, that, so you can all say who created this. I prayed to God probably about 17 years ago, and I said, God, the number one thing I would love to do is I would like to reset viruses and cure them. What market share do you think he gave me? The world? And so I've been a professional virus resetter, as you who know me know, for the last almost 20 some years. You also ask for something like the depression. Yes, I also <laughs> ask to have the opportunity to invest like those guys in the Great Depression did. And I said, sometime in my life, just once, God, it would be so nice if I could just ride that market, you know, wherever it's going, invest money, everything on sale, just let it happen, just, just a little bit for me. And boy, I bought Chevron, guys, and it tripled. <laughs> so, so I made money in this Great Depression, just like, or whatever you want to call this, the COVID eschen. I, I made money in it. I, I played with this with every little thought, every you little dream. Buy, buy pharma stocks, buy all 10 pharma manufacturers. I, I bought some other things that did 10 times as good as pharma. Oh, gonna, so, so there's what's. There's going to be 9 billion vaccines produced, so that's yeah. a good one to buy. I bought it. Although, although, for me, I'd rather do. I bought energy because I just believe that energy is more fun. And we took a class together. Remember, Sue, in the, when the last day of class, he said, I said, What would you invest in? And he said, I'd buy energy. Oh really? Yeah. Yes, turning that's gonna be a good thing now. Yeah. So I bought I bought things. energy, uh huh, and I bought um, gener uh, pumping natural gas. Mm, goodbye. Yes, very goodbye. Yeah. So so those two were from a class that the three of us took together to play in our dream of uh, wealth building, and we did quite well. Yeah, I need to contact awesome. them again. Yeah, so we did quite well. And so when you look at this and you say, you can look at it in a negative leaf blowing way, or you can say, did I benefit from this in any way? And all of a sudden you can see benefit after benefit after benefit. Uh, and, and truthfully, we had the same lifestyle. We, we work out of home. So it was very similar to- It was, it was the same. And also like who, everyone I talked to, they even did better and better and better. Yeah, and and one of our miracle group members was saying they let the entire sales staff go, so she was definitely the number one salesperson for those two months. <laughs> <laughs> she was the only one selling, so right, you know. I mean, we just had fun with it. Yatsik said he was busier, the same. And the only thing what, you know, what really um, confused me a little bit, I got all these weird emails saying, "Oh, now that you're sitting at home and you have more time," and all these what? <laughs> Everyone I know is more busy than ever. <laughs> My sister got a letter that uh, she's essential at the hospital and she has to work more hours. My dad worked more hours. My mother worked more hours. Everyone worked more hours. So who was the, who's the one sitting at home and uh, like right. receiving these emails of, oh, you need like home entertainment? Really? <laughs> <laughs> no time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's even more and more and more. It's like, because all of us, we're keeping the abundance coming in and it's abundance so it's putting our busy. seed in that nature in the right spot of nature that makes your heart sing and so now here are the the words that we each spoke over our ideal beautiful dream life where it was set where the setting was how it felt and keep your mind in your ideal imaging mm. if your mind slips to the television or to a name somewhere if that if that is less than happy soil for you, move your seed or plant it deeper. <laughs> Enjoy. So get the biggest know. joy pot that you can possibly get, like uh, your beautiful orchids here that you usually have on the table, right? That big joy pot of orchids and stick them in there and then take your nice pot and put it where it feels good. And then if for some reason it's a different season and you should take it to the next room or the next window so it gets a different uh, sunlight, then move it to the next window of the sun's sunlight. It's for us to say, wait a second, this is our lifetime. We can move our pot and in our little seed, our little tree like Charlie Brown, anywhere we wish to move it. You can add more soil. You can put some nourishment in there. You can get two plants in there and a friend. Some plants that are producing need two different, a female and a male plant to do their, their reproduction. Um, I replanted my aloe recently and it loves the pots I bought and put them in. 
Sky, do you remember when you were talking about the aloe plants and those, some of them have little shoots on them and all? It, it, just move yourself around. You're your seed and all the information's there. Put it in the nurturing soil. Make sure the sun goes on you. And then understand hypnotic rhythm. It's there. It's perfect. It is already succeeded. If you think of anything that's in a, in a hiccup, you're out of hypnotic rhythm. Only life can exist and, and, and beautifully exist when you're up here flowing in that 800 hertz vibration of all creation. You're tuning into the right radio station. So let's talk about this for a minute. If, if any thought is less than this great 800 hertz, you're tuned into 101 down there or 99 or 43 or 62. And those are like guilt, greed, what you're thinking of this other person. Yeah, I'm okay, whatever stuck. you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're tuned I'm just in. Like, how do I cure my younger brother who's damaged by a vaccine? Like, uh, uh, is that negative to think about that? Yeah. Like, to you re image him you know I mean? healthy. You re image him healthy. Oh, absolutely. Right. It, in writing. In writing. My perfect brother, who has perfect health, does all these great activities, gets great uh, uh, success, and in, in all his cells work wonderfully, his organ systems are beautiful he's happy he's healthy he's whole he's succeeding he's learning wonders he's got a great job what you image him so this is a great exercise for everybody involved here is please if you would wish to improve any person place or thing in your life take a sheet of paper out just like we did the exercise and re-image it reimagine it imagine it so beautiful imagine it so rich and rich in every department, so successful in every department, so joyful in every part. And when you can re-image it, the universe, remember the superconscious goes right off your imaging and it brings it into this reality. So if you let your imaging go down a notch, it's gonna show up in your life. It's gonna again. show up Say in your that life again. again. If you let your imaging slip down one notch, that's now this is your new normal. Wow. That's yeah. what we talk, talked about. That's why we're up here saying bring on the <laughs> private jets because we have to the the image us. And what is your future? Yeah. Yeah. And so anybody who's known me in my life and have known me for a long time, Yatsik and Skydra, am I a great imager? Yeah. Right. And Jillian right. and my own right. daughter, Maddie, you know, she's lived with me her whole life. Am I the person who images the most of any human you've ever met? And they're all saying yes. And now we get to enjoy your beach house. Yes, <laughs> so now they enjoy my second home on the beach. Yeah. So where the she shed a surprise. Of a oh, and I got a brand house. new huge yoga, huge huge yoga shed. shed. Yes, yes. Huge it's more what? than a, it's a wedding pavilion. Oh. I thought it was going to be a yoga studio, and now it's as big as JJ's house. Okay, so, I'm so the idea is the idea is. When we image here, mm -hmm. the universe has to answer us here. Okay. If our imaging starts falling down, yeah. he an the universe answers us at whatever. Mm -hmm. It can only match where you are. So keep your imaging positive. Keep it 100%. Keep it bigger than what you even imaged yesterday. Wow. So you got to push yourself saying, am I thinking big enough? Am I thinking big enough? Am I thinking big enough? So almost in a fun way, surprise yourself. Image bigger, image bigger, image bigger, image bigger. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that we all shared these big images, these mm -hmm. beautiful images. Mm -hmm. And everybody was so peaceful when they were sharing their beautiful images. Mm -hmm. and, and for us, we talk about our own health. Uh, and we worked with this, Osher and I worked with this for a while. Image your perfect health. Image your better and better health. You, you have to image yourself well. Image yourself well. Image yourself happy. Image those around you happy. So, wow. so maybe Osher, will you share for one minute um, of how when you imaged your son happy, how that helped you? Could you would you share that? This is important. Your son has passed away, and she's going to image. She, she, we got a chance to work together on this, and I just want to see how that's working out. Can you can you share a little bit of that? Yeah, it was like wonderful, you know, and I can feel the vibration of this image because like people who don't know, um, is have car accident 
couple couple years ago, and it's just left. And when I, when I was um, with you, you know, like uh, months ago, we was working like he is, of course, not not with us, but he's in, he's doing his journey, and he's um, I kind of was supporting like and happy for him, like mother being on the earth and with knowing like his. He's doing like his mission somewhere else, you know, and like... Um, and, and you're okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, and he was playing and kind of like, you see like, yes, go, you know, like his, his name yeah, is bad. He, he, like, go, go, then go. Just, he wanted to go. And yes, he wanna go, go, like, in a different you have, like, do experience, like, yeah. do what you need to do, like, enjoy your new being, you know, and I was so happy, definitely was I feel like mother like the same mother would like have the but like enjoy enjoy joy was absolutely bigger than my uh grief before you know because you understand like this everyone is have different uh, different way to be happy in different way trans, um, uh, let's see changes you know i'm still here is going in different uh, uh, vibrations and doing different things and it was like so wonderful with your guidance yeah, yeah it's just really wonderful to just feel and see him happy in in his next transformation and it might Absolutely. be beyond our comprehension right in this moment but when you can have faith and image him into something great it is just amazing because i could visually see him and he was so happy that that he got her uh, acceptance of him yeah. passing to the next. Yeah, because transformation is well, like transformation. wonderful. Was transformation for him and for me too, you know? Yes. Yeah. 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 Both sides transformation. Yep. Yeah. So can I, can I just add something to the imaging also? Um, change topics. Um, mm -hmm. of, so I'm with Carissa almost every day. Mm -hmm. So building a company with her over the last three years, so I can attest to the imaging. Uh, of that so we we make a like really a uh, point like every monday we sit together and sometimes these uh you know this company meetings what you maybe know like in, in all the boardrooms it looks a little different with us we are just praying we are imagining we are like really playing big mm -hmm. and when you thought like monday you've got everything from like the biggest biggest vision ever mm -hmm. then she comes in wednesday oh by the way let's do it like this way and everything from monday is completely <laughs> done and we have tuesday now and now we start with tuesday mm -hmm. and then wednesday comes mm -hmm. and then oh, starts over again. Again. <laughs> so if you ever like you know OTT, like, have this clean table cloth and i'm still like I, I still have in my fire drawer like all the Mondays, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays from years, from three years. And we are like now on today and like, oh, Sylvie, now we do this from today. And yeah. I'm like, huh. So I have to even change my, it's like, okay, so if God, God has to help me to do all of that, that's for sure because it's zero, it's like completely out of my world, the ability to do all of it, what, what we imagined for three years so far, um, let alone from this week. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm happy that Julian is here now to um, take yeah. Carissa's vision for once in a while that I can catch up. <laughs> yeah, she has a week off, I'm giving my visions to someone else, I mean, my imaginings and it's like, going out there. And it's, it's like, I also have like lots of, great vision so putting that together i mean that's uh that's the only way in how we could like in one and a half years I mean, like receive joyce in three years but she was gone for one year i was gone for half a year and in the meantime we did we wrote two books we did three workbooks we did three cds we did um so much so you can see just by envisioning it and really just um giving it all to god and talking about it over and over and yes i did some work meanwhile on a computer uh, so, but however, we have like, I have a list of a hundred more products, just the things I wrote down. Hmm. I have like li other lists somewhere and recordings and things like that. So, but it's, this is how it is over the last years over there's like journals after journals. So do you have all wow. your journals for your life? Yeah. Imagine, just keep really imaging, important. imaging. Yeah. So, so really maybe important. what I really am is somebody who understands God is the super conscious. And when you're connected to that light, 
The super conscious is full of just creation power, just creation power, just creation power. And if you can keep yourself joyfully playing in the imaging, mm -hmm. then whatever anybody else is playing is a game down here. And you're up there and guess what? It's, it's like a fashion designer, right? You can be upset if you're gonna be copied or you can just keep designing new stuff. And then everybody's gonna want you. It's okay if somebody takes your old design because you're already three designs in front of them. So, so keep imaging. And this miracle group, what I love about all these people, Skyder being a good friend in this and Yatsik, we started six years ago really imaging. And, and it was fun. And, and, and then um, we play, we, you take yourself backwards when you, you image less than, right, Yatsik? We talk about that in Skydra. And then you gotta remind yourself to image up here and keep growing up higher and higher. And, and I loved the fact, and, and we, it's good that it's recorded. I, I'm not quite sure if we remember the, the, the we recorded the last time, but when Yatsik came and, and he had worked on a situation for two years, and, and I said, well, when you can just flip the whole coin, Yatsik, right, both sides of it, then the, you're, you'll have your solution in, in, on the same day that you really schedule to flip the coin on both sides. Mm -hmm. And you had the solution in an hour and 40 minutes. And now they have the happily ever after. Because before that, there yeah. were um, illusion of separateness and they found each other. I mean, that was right. also an asking of Sky nice. for some, for some re like two years ago. Nice. I remember yeah. like we had, oh, I wish to have someone that really understands this whole thing. So, and now she's dates someone from the Miracle Group. You know, yeah. So that had some training yes. already. <laughs> 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 training so, so remember flipping a coin if you're gonna flip a coin and give it the air how many sides have to flip both of them mm -hmm. so you have got to let all that float with you and that coin is flipping and flipping and flipping and when you have that total imaging that it's gonna land on that right side heads up and it's gonna stay up here with you. And that's when like an airplane, the law of lift, when that, that it surpasses gravity and comes to this big heavy plane, the law of lift, and you are lifted and you will stay there. Hmm. You give it the fuel like the sunshine we're talking, you stay here. If you allow any of your words or your thoughts or your deeds to pull you into those lower vibrations, the yeah. what ifs, that person. And if you're ever still using they, she, or he, or it, did something or is doing something in my life. Mm -hmm. You are living an illusion. It is all you, it is all you, it is all you. Let's all practice that together. It is all me. Can we it say that three me. times? It is all me. It is all me. It is all me. Right. So don't warn anybody if you want to how does that how does did you say it? It is all me. Put your hand, put it on your heart. It is all me. It is all me. It is all me. Who signed all the contracts in your life? You're, if you're married, who signed it? If you want a car, who signed it? If you got an apartment, who signed it? If you open up your drawer at your desk, whose signature is on every paper? It is all me, it is all me, it is all me. If somebody got a shot in their arm, somebody drove them to the doctor. It is all me, it is all me, it is all me. Yeah. Okay, own it first. That's the pivoting point to this great training that we have. It is all me, it is all me, it is all me. And so guess who can get you to where you want to go? All you, all you, and all you. That is why I know you can get to any place you want to go. Because it's all you and your creator. When you connect to the light, that's the whole purpose of all this, folks. When you're connected to the light, it's well, all you, it's all you, it's all you attached to your creator. And you can have your joy because that is what you're made of, love and joy. That is rejoice always. Again, I say rejoice. That's what God said. So when you understand it's all me, and if, I, if you illusion and play in anybody else's space, it's just gonna take you off of your perfect space. I would rather flip the whole coin, have the solution, right? And then stay with my eye on my target, my words on my target, my heart on my target, and the universe, the only possibility is for the universe to give you your target. That's the only possibility. Who, so, who is that? Pardon? Who is the target? Who <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm trying to pass, hear everything. It's hard to hear everything. Uh huh. Oh, it's really whatever good. your personal target is. Yeah. Right. It's you and Creator. Hold that vision. 
of your personal target. Yeah. So what usually happens is we start less than imagining our life back out of things. Oh, and then we do this thing called picking up a stone. It's called blame. Yeah. And Jesus said, yeah. he, he who is without blame, throw the first stone. Mm -hmm. So if, if any of us feel like we want to blame somebody, the first thing we should do, like the Bible, set the stones down, go home and start imaging your life, you alone with your creator. That's what we did today in this meeting. Yeah. How we imaged our own life with our creator. And he's going to give us those lives that we can each room that we can keep imaging. He's going to give us that, that room and the joy and everything in it that we can image. And so I'm so excited to go to Yatsik's shop. <laughs> do things over there because <laughs> I like that kind of Give stuff me, too. And then have dinner is at your place and my yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, that's right. On our big tables outside yes. of the grass, right? And we'll visit their places. And they're all set up already. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah. We fly from one place to another with a jet. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we'll soon travel. We'll soon travel to yes, in, in December in down to yeah. the grand yeah. opening. I did live this life. I've been living my vision for 10 years. I just want yeah. justice. I don't know where does justice get involved. That's, that's what right. I'm trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. There, is no there is no such thing. No such yeah. thing. Yeah. It's your life with your creator. And as long as you are just and, and receive justice from between you and your creator, there is justice. See, everybody else has the opportunity. Do you hear how everybody's dream is different? Absolutely. And isn't that great? And so the oh, fact yeah. is, what, what is just? God said, I will be the judge if there is any of that going on. So if, if we are to just let live, the fact is, we all, there's so many different vibrational platforms that we can all live on. There's plenty of space. Mm -hmm. And can we just live in harmony and love? And the idea is, if your image is stronger and healthier and, and nicer and kinder, then if you can speak that and you can hold the image, the whole universe will benefit from that. You know, what, what's happening is the, the universe is stuck in some other people's imaging. And the only thing that hasn't happened yet is for us to image higher and there bigger and stronger and wider right, right. than what they image. And then come together. Like for us. That's right. right, we just gotta get the bigger yeah. canopy. Yeah. So when we can get powerful. the bigger canopy, all that'll just be kind of, your words, choked out. Yeah, that's why we have to share the light, share yeah. the light, share yeah. the light. One candle lights another candle that yeah. lights four candles, that 16 candles, and so on. So we keep on sharing yeah, our goodness. Message. Can you explain the and 1% to some people so, yeah. that have never heard of it? The 1%? Oh, sure. What so, is it? The 1%. 1%. So Do Dr. Emoto, uh, who throws the water samples and put the words on it, he showed us that there's 10% positive people and about 10% of the opposite, and then 80% in between. <laughs> and he said, if you could just take 1%, that 80%, and take 1% of that 80%, just 1% of the population, and, and sway them a little more positive, <laughs> that would be enough to shift and have the entire flow into positivity. Wow. So we're here in this miracle group, just working with the 1%. That's why we call ourselves the 1% or the 800 Hertz Club. We're just the 1%. We're that 800 Hertz, just perfecting wow. our own perfection, right? And that's why it's fun playing with you here. We're perfecting the new people who are joining us. We're always perfecting our own perfection because God only produces perfection. And the fun is he gives us all this opportunity mm -hmm. to actually work with, it's all me, it's all me, it's all me. Now, how can I rearrange me? And so the only person you can rearrange is yourself because it's all you. And isn't it fun? I mean, James Stevens, how many years have you been rearranging yourself? <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been just loving it. Well, I've been reimagining yes. less than perfection for many years. Uh, sometimes perfection, sometimes imperfection, mixed, right? The 80%? Mm -hmm. Yeah. More of more the top caliber, but still not pure, positive, loving, delightful, and more and more and more and more. Now in this process of communing with you all, it's, I'm being distilled. In fact, tonight it's incredible because I'm, I'm getting the massive breakthrough of, of disallowing any absorption, or any conception of anything less than perfection. That's right. And to see that those that apparently are the bad or the good, yeah, right. they're all doing their vibration. Yeah, it's all perfect. And so if I just reimagine and restructure <laughs> that whoever is the guy that's screwing up and I see him doing everything right, <laughs> he's taking care of whatever. Yeah. And it really doesn't matter. It's all about me it's all and about how me. I see and feel that's my right. world. And, I'm yeah. and I love totally it good. how James Stephen gets a breakthrough every time he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hang fire on that jet next year. Right now we're on that jet. Our jet. We each, we each got our jet. <laughs> Go That's hilarious. No, and I, and I see that I see many, many incredibly brilliant and gifted light workers who have this little glitch, this little glitch of of not understanding that everything is the outpicturing of my consciousness. That's right. And and they think, my view of consciousness. There you go, my view of consciousness. Because consciousness is just life force. Right. We each have our own viewpoint from whatever floor we're on. And I see so that everybody's how, conscious. Which, everybody is right, conscious. We're coming up to the state of Get the right word in here. Which everybody everybody you're looking from. Conscious and super conscious. That's yeah. right. So everybody is living consciously, or we're, or you'd be in another dimension. So we're in this conscious, this consciousness. We are all in this consciousness. Mm -hmm. So bringing our awareness into our pure conscious and yeah. allowing the super conscious by our communion with spirit. Mm -hmm. By not going down here into the muck and whatever that and is pulling here. up no. somebody's thing and right. saying, oh, and what about that? Exactly. Yeah. Or identifying with something that's anything less than perfection, because yeah. knowing everyone is in perfection in their relationship with God gives us this freedom, incredible freedom to just thrive and let every everybody else thrive or survive or whatever they wish. Yeah, it's whatever they wish world. to do, it's all good. So if anyways, they whether to, if they are here to stay or it's their time to go and do some other adventure in another other galaxy we know there's many galaxies and there's many universes and there's all kinds of expanse out there so out there in the great expanse that might be somebody else's greatness out in the great expanse so so for us it's just about being these loving accepting beings and and live in joy and and I, we made a pact for 2020 if you haven't yet done this please do and 2020's vision for all of us is that we choose to do more than just live we're living in joy. A lot of us has done a lot of living. I'm over 55, so we've done a lot of living. And now we're choosing to live in joy. That's a, a new vibrational field for some of us, to do it 24 hours a day for the rest of our lives. That's the choice. It's all me, it's all me, it's all me, and I choose joy. And, and so, you know, stand in front of the mirror, say your affirmations, um, that, that really is the, the wonder. All right, so now two, we are two gonna- Two things, two yep. things before. So take out your calendars and or your piece of paper and write down June 7. June 7 is a Sunday in less than two weeks. And at 3.30 p.m. until 6 p.m. We're having our little party at Carissa's house. Yep, we're doing a, the book signing for Connect to the Light. If you're in town and like to get your book signed, come over and nice. we zoom everything. Yeah, so nice. let's see uh -huh. who's like taking I'm the camera. I'm in Pelican Marsh in Naples, Florida. Yeah, we'll be zooming in Chicago. Yep, and a few people are going to zoom in. And I will be doing the presentation of where I planted the 92 crystals in the 42 countries. So it'll be fun. It was such a joy, and we'll show the pictures. Of and we will have a raffle, sisters. and this is probably the first raffle where everyone wins, <laughs> because we are all winners. <laughs> we are all winners. <laughs> so even I like that. <laughs> so, where everyone wins. So join us on Zoom. Join us live. Um, we, <laughs> we hug everyone. What time? All right. Pardon? What time is it going to be? June seventh. Uh, it's like a uh, Florida, like our Naples time here is EDT at 3.30 to 6. So three hours earlier for you, yeah. which is like 12.30 to... Yeah, so we'll three. start doing the presentation uh, at 4.30. Yeah, something. yeah, about the crystals, 4.30 to 5.30. So come and, and if you'd like to support us, and sure, yeah, play if you'd sure. like. Um, Jeff Steven will play the wild then. <laughs> one and reminder have, for like, Jillian is to please review us if you feel so inclined if you got something out of our books and i happily and sent trainings. you all the links that are or like even with some pre-written text jillian will do that so uh, we have all the links together so that you just click one by one and just five words and that will help us greatly and one other thing i wish to share with you so um i just learned like a while ago and like now recently carissa and i watched it uh, a new show about jesus online and it's called the chosen and you can watch it for free on youtube it was really good. And it's amazing. Just uh, uh, It's from the view of the disciples, um, how they got into the life of Jesus. And it's just another like binge 
uh, show that is eight episodes in season one so far. Oh, wow. And nice. what they do is it's outside of Hollywood created. It's um, basically they live on donations and they live on that everyone shares a poor ward. And, and I just learned the church that's doing it is from Elgin, Illinois. <laughs> Where she studied. She studied in Elgin, yeah. Illinois. Yeah. That's hilarious. Judson. Judson. Mm -hmm. Yes, Christian University. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's we're up there. Yeah. yeah. So oh, very nice. How many towns there? Twenty thousand dollars there at the Riverboat. Mm -hmm. Two million, three million. <laughs> Judson. I don't know. It's like so small when I was there, and like two thousand <laughs> and in the beginning of like a big high school. school. Yeah. yeah, and it was a campus like uh, basically, and they had like all these interesting rules. And for me, I, I was from Germany, so I was like more liberal kind of raised. And we had like a Sunday night meeting, like, um, like mutual meetings for all girls about sexual purity. And I was looking around like, hmm, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Maybe just a little late for me here. <laughs> um, so and they had this special rules of um, yes, you have like these uh, this room for girls and rooms for boys. So there was one floor for girls, one floor for boys, and we figured out that our key actually went to the boys' floor. And at one point, we had like this karaoke sing along lip sync contest, and we. We dressed up as Backstreet Boys, like my friends and I, and then we went to the boys' rooms <laughs> and the dorms, and, and I got even thrown out of a girl's toilet. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait here. And then they had this interesting things like, okay, you can visit each other Friday, Saturday, Sundays, between these hours. Door has to stay open, uh, both hands over, <laughs> over the blanket and one feet at the floor. <laughs> and then... And then there was a security, like one of the you know students was like employed oh, yes. as, uh, as uh, a security, going back and forth, looking at all the rooms. And, and, the on the floor. <laughs> and then it was so interesting because then you heard a lot of noise coming from the bathrooms, the public bathrooms, because oh. there was no cameras. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the other thing I learned also is like, oh, <laughs> and the other things I learned there is also, um, <laughs> so like you are there in the first semester and you kind of check out the guys you start dating first semester second one you're engaged third one you're married and the fourth one you sit there with a the belly <laughs> 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 so it was uh, you know like that you can dorm together and things like that I was very I mean I only spent there like one semester I was like the most it was amazing this uh, all the experiences I I collected there coming from Germany <laughs> so and yeah I'm, I'm it really uh, helped me grow my faith as well <laughs> because like it was the first time that I had to mention like I had to put like I'm a psychology major like completely from science um, and business so and then I have to write every paper with bible verses and it was the first time that I was uh, I was so fortunate that I spent like half a year with Carissa and the family before mm -hmm. and I got my first bible so I even I had a bible <laughs> I could use. Yeah. and then I'm just I was like just randomly open some pages okay this sounds fairly like I can put that in my paper <laughs> and then after a while after a month or so I, I realized oh in the back there's a whole list of things I can just look up the, the uh, and I was before the time like when, when everything was well, yeah, the was on the back I was a huge revelation <laughs> <laughs> and then later I was like I mean, I was like back then. I I was uh, less on the point that oh, you can Google all the Bible verses. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so that was at the end. I was like, oh, yeah, I could have done that. I could have spared, you know. Like, but this, it helped me so much. So God gave me yes. like because of my ignorance, He gave me such an opportunity to read the whole Bible. Meanwhile, because I needed that for all my papers. So it, it's like always comes out for the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's so amazing. Yeah. And, and we had like these interesting discussions about like the science Darwinism and the teachers were so grateful. So I loved my Elgin experience. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> um, cool. very fun. That's fun. That's, that's so fun. Yeah. I mean, every time when you go. Did you go into the city? We did. We did. Um, once when it was like completely cold and we did the ice skating and then once when it was warm we did the Millennium Park and the aquarium and it's it's nice. great city. And I, I also said like they don't have like spring or fall they only had like winter <laughs> <laughs> like snow like really, yeah. really like your eyelashes freeze and every time when you, you like exhale you, you know like the it drops down to earth <laughs> once you exhale and then the next morning is like okay I'm in shorts and I'm in a t-shirt that's and what Lynn was saying <laughs> 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 
So yeah, that um, I mean, it's always so much fun when you share with other um, nationalities and other. I mean, we had like also like a lot of people from other uh, countries there, and yeah. I mean, I was on cruise ships like for eight years, so I know how it is to work with all kinds of nationalities. <laughs> <laughs> and and before that, even like at Judson, there was one Japanese guy, and he was like to me, "Oh, you always with the camera." And I was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, he, it's yours. You take the pictures." <laughs> so we were playing like with each other, and and that's the, was the first time when I was so young, like 20, I learned that everyone is the same. Mm. Wherever you come from, we all wish us to have the same happiness. We always yeah. wish us, wish to like just enjoy ourselves, and and oh. this. You know, that brought me then to the cruise ships because I was like, oh, yeah, I wish to work together with so many different uh, nationalities. And then, oh, I also wish to live with warm. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so now we are back. here. The warm. And we are here with Lithuania <laughs> and we are here with Polish and we are here with Mexico, Mexico and we are here with everything. And Germany. Yes. Everything. Well. So we are one word, and uh, this is the Poland. thing, we unite, we want to unite everyone, and that was the, the great word that came earlier today, the uniting, 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 unite everyone, because we are all the same, and we are just, I mean, this is our 1% of joy, that we are, like, uh, tripping into this happiness, and we are changing the world to the better, right? Because we know that everyone is just, just a fun person, even if he or she is a leaf blower. And that's a fun. <laughs> Great. That's a perfect thing. <laughs> 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 They're just leaf yeah. blowing. Yeah. There's some leaves yeah. blowing around. It's all perfect. And the okay. other thing, we're yeah. going to do yeah. a little of this. So we are now listening to the meditation. I take you with me in the other room that you can listen to it. We, will, we will go into JJ's healing room. So I take you with me and we can all enjoy this. And and you can just you can, you can take whoever you like and just take it for thirty seconds or listen to the meditation. We're just gonna do ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. So this is this beautiful room of hers. <laughs> And Oscar is the entertainment manager. Oh, I didn't even know she had all these books. <laughs> I only looked at this. Yeah, I know. She has this huge bookshelf with all the goodies. The essential oils. Okay. I'm, I will set you right in front of this huge TV. And you can. And we will make ourselves comfy on the floor. And you can make yourself comfortable. Anybody wants to grab a pillow? Should we grab some pillows? No, we're, we're fine. If you would like, we can sit on the couch. Couch. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's sit. Yeah. Get a 10 minute vision. Yeah. Just put so people's booties are comfortable. Oh, we have two pillows up there. People can sit. Okay, come on in. Let's come on, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Come on, sit down for my joy. Yeah, we're perfect. This is good. Come sit on the couch since you have a dress on. What's that? Sit on the couch since you have a dress on. <laughs> I wore a dress so I could just sit on the couch. These are the best flip flops that are I got these in Germany. I was looking for real much for those buy my mind. They're not natural. 
it's all relative now? No, it's not really. So I have to say that the kids when I play this because it's my voice. Can you imagine your mother's voice all the time? They're like, oh, can you no. please turn the hearing on or something? They walk in the house. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I have to say Receive joy and open the mind and the heart through positive, blessed inspiration. Let us rediscover the truth of flow and allow. I now joyfully accept and appreciate the abundant life the universe offers me. I flow with all that life offers me in every moment. I know that everything I focus on, I receive more of. Divine love attracts all good. Today I find a hundred reasons to feel good. I create miracles in every moment. My perfect life is full of abundance. I recognize abundance everywhere. I tap into all the abundance. I am in perfect health. My body feels amazing. I accept all the good around me. My life is light and easy. I reach all of my goals easily. Divine love fills me and I express kindness, tenderness, and compassion. I understand the almighty power. I am so grateful that I am part of the wonderful abundance that all humanity comes from. I have faith. I believe. My heart is at peace. I accept all truth and understanding. I am fulfilled. I know that my desires are taken care of. I can do everything and anything with God. I am happily unique. I am joyous and I believe. Wealth continually flows to me. I love being rich. My fun brings all the wealth I desire. All my cells are happy and healthy. I am the co-creator of my own life and I act with grace and mercy in all I do. I write my thoughts, desires, and dreams down on paper. I journal. My heart is wide open. Love flows through me. I am a cheerful giver. I have all the resources I desire. I am resourceful. I am aligned with the energy of abundance. Ideas come to me from everywhere. I look within and see the loving, beautiful being I am. I listen to my inner being. I am worthy of my desires. I have faith. I believe. My heart is at peace. I am successful. I surround myself with amazing, successful people. I am full of energy. I have the energy of a child. My life continues to be better and better. I grow into the greater good. I only speak positive and loving words. I know my words create everything. I am one of a kind. I am responsible for all the happiness in my life. I am open and receptive to all the wealth in the universe. I am happy and active. I focus on positive thoughts and blessed words because the thoughts I think attract. 
and the words I speak create. I am one with the present moment. I am in charge of my thoughts. I allow my love to flow freely. My supply of love is abundant. God supports me. I am living a life of abundance, happiness, and wealth. I smile constantly. I show gratitude and thanksgiving every day. I choose to view my world friendly. Today I breathe new life into my goals and desires. I love my life. I do great things that I find fun. God is good all the time. I allow money to flow joyfully and freely into my life. I take care of my body. I eat nourishing foods and drink pure water. Exercise is fun. Each day, I create greatness. I am peaceful and joyous. I listen to and speak of excellent things. I allow my self-appreciation to increase. I am a true blessing. Every day, I do something that is fun for me. I attract all desired abundance immediately. My body is perfect. I am vibrant and healthy. I feel energized. I know what I desire. I meditate. Meditation is time I give myself to recharge. I am aware of the words I am using. I know my talents and share them with the world. My connection to God grows stronger every day. God owns everything and he loves to share. I am fulfilled with my life and I show it to the world. I continuously ask for what I wish to create in my life. I am created for success. I am here to love and honor myself and others. I am in my perfect place and God cheers me on. I am willing to flow and allow. I feel fantastic, light, and easy. I evolve, grow, and transform continuously. I am joyously exuberant and in harmony with all of life. I choose to experience a harmonious day full of grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. I ask continually and receive abundantly. I am living a wonderful life. I feel connected to a power that is greater than my individual self. All of me already knows how to do everything. I focus my thoughts on what I wish to experience. Love flows through me and touches everyone in my life. I am blessed with joy and love. I ask and receive all that is good. All my organs are happy and well. I have creative intelligence. My breath is life. I inhale deeply and exhale fully. My goals are attainable. I am worthy. I deserve. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. I receive freely and I am a cheerful giver. I take ownership of all the goodness in my life right now. 
My positive thoughts and blessed words are magnetic and creative and draw greatness to me. I focus on the good in every moment. Divine love is the essence of every person. Blessed is the man who listens to God. I use money to better my life and the lives of those around me. I meditate daily. I have awesome potential in my life. I choose to focus only on my breath, for it is my gift from God. I choose to focus only on the positive things I am creating. I am a super awesome somebody. There is only happiness. I rejoice always. I constantly create opportunities that attract more money. I open my heart and my mind to the pathways of divine energy. I walk a good path every day. I continue to embrace the flow of life and this flow leads me to happiness. I choose to remember only the good things. I receive the joy of my spirit in meditation. My finances improve continually. I constantly have more and more money. I love my body. I expect only great things in my life. I remain in peaceful harmony. I am inspired by the spirit of success as it breathes new life into my goals and desires. In Christ, all things are possible. I am the co-creator of my life and the attractor of the wealth within it. I love to drink water. Water serves me and I cherish it. I attract what I constantly think about and believe to be possible. I live each day as if it were the only day of my life. All the words from my mouth come forth with righteousness. Loving is part of who I am. I make sure I am having fun every day. I receive inspiration, new ideas, well-being and beauty. I continually seize all the opportunities to improve myself. I respond to myself and others with kindness. I choose to do good for he who does good is of God. I am surrounded by love. I know what makes me happy. I welcome in success and my fortune with grace. I exercise regularly. Exercise is so much fun. I have God's powerful spirit within me. I keep my thoughts on the truth. My love is like a beautiful rainbow that covers the whole sky. I remain positive always. Money expands my experiences and offers new opportunities. Being active brings me joy. I am active throughout the day. I am open and flexible. I encourage change. I am blessed with joy and love. I use the power of my words to bless myself and others. Individuality is a precious gift. I am joyously exuberant and in harmony with all life. I am wealthy. I am rich. I am happy. I radiate with health. I create my perfect life every day. Miracles flow to me continually. I know my inheritance is there for me to use and to do great things with it. The love I have for myself grows every day. Money comes to me easily. 
My nose smells the beauty of nature. I receive whatever I desire immediately. I am a winner. My heart loves continuously. I receive joy. My blood is clean and flows perfectly. I align my head with my heart. I speak only beautiful words that create and bless. I see only the good in myself and others. I am the child of God. I think abundantly. I ask for God's blessings before I eat my food. I am the co-creator of my life. I hold God's creation power. I am filled with awe and wonder. I declare all of my desires in writing. I have great appreciation for everyone and everything in my life. I am a money magnet. I breathe deeply and fully. I am conscious of the words I speak. I flow with life and experience harmony. I have the power to welcome only the thoughts that bless me. I have the power to turn away all opposing thoughts. I love myself so that I can love others. I find it easy to love myself and others. I smile, laugh, and dance. Prosperity is drawn to me. My skin glows. I have full, thick, and healthy hair. God gave me dominion over this earth. I am alive to experience God's greatness. I ask for my desires with great precision. I love to declare in exact detail. I am filled with love and gratitude. I choose to bring joy into every situation of my life. Money comes to me in expected and new exciting ways. My clear thinking and happy thoughts turn into joyful performance each day. I prepare my day with joy and exuberance. I am understanding. I have great plans for my life and I write them down. My love is so great that it surrounds all and everything. I am a rejoicing soul. I welcome money and prosperity in my life in every moment. I am thrilled and filled with rejuvenating, revitalizing life. I understand that my life's path is up to me. I feel blessed. I choose to see the highest good in everyone. Today the love in me overflows and I create a beautiful, loving world. I understand that this life was given to me to be joyful and to celebrate. Thank you, Jesus. New money-making opportunities appear every day. I am mentally and emotionally able to enjoy a loving, prosperous life. I participate fully in my life. I love to travel and experience the world. All life exists within me. I declare the exact outcome of all my actions. I love all humanity. I am grateful for this perfect day. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I am. I truly love nature. I find beauty everywhere. I am the author of my own life. Wisdom calls aloud to me. I am completely focused. I am love and light. 
I am truth. I am the child of God. God's goodness is in and around me always. I give myself permission to be very rich. My bones are firm yet flexible. I am grateful and ready to live my day. I look up and let the sun shine on my face. I write down what I welcome in each day. I love God and God loves me. I am glad. I rejoice in all. I feel good about money. My mouth smiles and speaks blessings. I understand that I am in co-creation with God. The calm, happy, gentle peace alive in me brings me comfort, solace, and joy. I am clear about what I intend for each day. I love myself for the awesome being that I am. Each day is satisfying, happy, and joyous. I only think and speak positively about money. My mind is clear and I have a fantastic memory. My joy expands me and aligns me with God. I greet each day with excitement. I reach my desires fast, accurately, and easily. I have beauty and depth within me. I smile, laugh, dance, and lead with my heart. I clearly see opportunities to make money light and easily. I take time to be quiet and feel the presence of God. God's divine energy lifts me up. I embrace all the wonder the universe has to offer. By faith, I declare all my actions before I take them. I know my thoughts attract and my words create everything. I share perfect love and in return, I receive perfect love. My mind is happy. I receive financial abundance by being who I am. I understand that water is the source of life and I can imprint it with loving and beautiful messages. I live my divine purpose. My goals are exciting and I achieve them light and easily. I am proud of my self-image. I am rejoicing and celebrate my well-being. My actions attract constant prosperity. I feel amazing as I experience my sweet and joyous life. All creative thoughts manifest in wonderful ways. I am alive and free to be the highest version of me. Focusing on my joyful thoughts creates my joyful world. I am God's beautiful creation. My heart is always singing and dancing. I embrace new avenues of income. I am who I choose to be right now. I grow as I align with God. I happily flow and evolve with beautiful inspiration. I achieve whatever I focus on. I am a shining star in this dazzling world. My smile lights up the universe. I enjoy receiving money. I am perfect exactly as I am right now. I live in the light. We are all children of God, and I choose to respect God by showing compassion and understanding to myself and others. I am created in God's image. Every day, I am receiving more and more wealth. I am my best friend and the person I enjoy being with the most. 
I expand with all the experience I welcome in throughout my day. My life dances with excitement. My eyes see the glory of God. I am open to receive lots of money right now. Today I am an energetic, productive, happy being. I encourage my desires and let my creative juices flow into everything I choose to do. I pay attention to my breath. I only speak kind and positive words. The smile on my face expresses the love in my heart. I receive abundant blessings. I am relaxed. I take responsibility for all my creations. I experience peace today and every day. I focus on positive thoughts because the thoughts I think attract. I focus on speaking positive words because the words I speak create. I love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith. Wonderful things keep happening to me. I always prosper in everything I do. I experience healing energy in my entire body. I ask more to receive more. I always am my best. My clear thoughts and written declarations help me to achieve whatever I desire. I am worthy of my desires. I give thanks for each new day. I claim my divine inheritance. I believe in myself. Every step I take along the way allows me to grow. My life is fantastic, accomplished, and filled with joyful freedom. I align with a prayer partner who encourages me and seconds my asking. Because I come from love, I am love. To God be the glory. It is all worth it. I always see myself at my best. I continually create good in my life. I am alive, aware, joyous, and enthusiastic about life. I can feel the perfection in my choices. I am always on my direct path. My conscious thoughts and beautiful words plant the seeds of success. I am cheerful. I am receiving multiple streams of income. I enjoy eating nutritious foods. I am the co-creative power in my world. I feel amazing as I experience my sweet and joyful life. Everything I write down, I edit three times to make sure I create what I prefer most. I forgive myself. I love myself. Every experience I have benefits me and brings me joy. I always feel youthful. I reach my goals easily. It is natural for me to feel good and to be well. I allow God's goodness to flow through me. I choose to see the good in all. I am perfect. I feel the happiness now. I believe in the absolute prosperity and abundance of God. I feel energized. Accomplished desires are sweet to the soul. I flow with all that life offers in every moment. All is well, all the time. I am amazing. I am completely calm and at peace. I believe in my dreams. I follow my dreams. 
my dreams all come true. I am willing to flow and allow. I am beautiful. I welcome pure love into my heart. I am able to attract and handle large sums of money. I am open and flexible. I encourage change. It is my birthright to live joyfully and freely. All my decisions stem from faith. I am worthy of having it all. I am open to receive all the wealth life offers me. I visualize myself achieving all my goals. I allow my self-appreciation to increase daily. I have a cheerful spirit. I have abundant love in my life. Money makes me happy. Walking barefoot keeps me grounded. I am strong in the grace that is from Christ Jesus. I take ownership of my life right now. I choose to feel excellent about myself. I make this choice every morning. I enjoy every day of my life. I welcome continual income and wealth in my life. My healthy body serves me well. I see my desires clearly. I now create the life of my dreams. I allow all that is good in and it flows joyfully. With the help of my journal, I organize my thoughts. I love myself. I am beautiful. I only think positive thoughts about money, prosperity, and abundance. Water assists me with my well-being. I live creatively. My perfect life is full of peaceful energy. My day is all planned out the night before. I know my next step. I find it easy to love myself and others. I hear the voice of God. I continually attract more success and fulfillment. My active body is transformed with my conscious mind. I live up to my potential and beyond. I allow peace within me and in my environment. I visualize my perfect life. I commit to be love. I am love. My life is a financial success. I rejoice always. Again, I say rejoice. I rejoice in you, Jesus. I am the light. Down sleeping. This is an inspiration. This is, and, and, 
and just like you experienced it, and possibly different for JJ, so <clears throat> when we first did this, we had recorded this about a year and a half, two years ago maybe, a year and a half ago, and this is the first time anybody in this room heard it. So we all had the same experience that you had. Susan. Really? It was like, oh my gosh, so much positivity. <laughs> it's amazing though to think that you have to train yourself to receive that, that much positivity. Yeah, I mean, cool. you're up to that. Game and and all, Yancy's up to that game because he spends are you? days in positive. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so, it's so, so and I have JJ, yeah. <clears throat> but right, Oscar, that was a lot of positivity. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that was almost like, whoa. And, and they're high on it. But it's, like brain really it's, it's positive brainwashing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we have to do because we had so much of the opposite. Yeah. It's been yeah. Put, it's programming us for a whole life. We have to deprogram. We have to totally Just switch it. Pipe it in. Yeah, yeah, we have to pipe it in. And right. I let you in on, on my kind of a secret of this kind of, there's like, there's a lot of thought into that, even like in the, in the way of how we arrange the sentences. So every seventh thought is the same. In yeah. just the categories. Oh, we have, yeah, we have yeah. seven categories we came up with. Well, so was one. Red is the is prosperity one. is one. Then we have the love, we have the focus, we have the creation, we have the health, we have wealth, health, health yeah. love. So we have everything creation, in there focus. and it's repetitious. Every yeah. seventh one is a is again. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like the waves of the ocean. Yeah. Remember hypnotic rhythm, so, everybody, yeah. that we just studied. So yeah. this yeah. is yeah. Ingraining the waves, yep. hypnotic rhythm, wealth, and then you got the health, and then you got the harmony, and you got the love and joy. <laughs> oh yeah, then you get health and harmony, wealth. So, so that was how um, we did it, so that it would be the hypnotic rhythm of nature. Mm -hmm. And so it's just fun to experience it for the first time, and and a great thank you for sitting through the whole thing. I remember when we first did it and recorded it, it was a lot to sit through, and we were all meditators. <laughs> that much positivity it was really it like really shows you wow where have i been it pushed out all the bags yeah it does yeah. like the waves uh -huh. like i said it just yeah. keeps flowing and it's it's remember really like once you Sometimes. remember these phrases and they're they are like in your head that, that's <laughs> a prominent uh, the prominent thought you go to so the more often you play, it's like all the lyrics from the songs you play. So when you play that more often, then it automatically it just comes. So it's like when I live at the house, I lived for the house for three years. So of course, I think of all the sayings I hear every day. And, uh, yeah. and now it's like a prominent thought. Mm -hmm. So we all wish to like, yeah, brainwash you on a positive way. And I give you an analogy about software. Yeah. I give you an analogy of, 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 of how sandbars are, are created by the waves keep coming in a certain direction, a certain direction, and then the sandbar builds, and then it creates the perfect wave. Yeah. So this yeah. coming through our consciousness, yeah. and, right. and we organize, and we're setting, raising. Right. And the good thing is that we've trained it. Every single word is positive. Mm -hmm. So there's no awesome. effortlessly mm -hmm. in there or something like that. Beautiful. It's all positive. Every single word is a pure word. So that's why I say I know that this is the first time your brain has ever heard for a half hour every single positive word. <laughs> it's the only possibility, unless you heard from God or Christ, you know, yourself, because this is we're the only group that's practicing this. Actually, hanging out with JJ and Oscar all day is very similar. Just like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's it. You got you're ingrained in the group. <laughs> exactly. You're not here by mistake, by the way. Yeah, yeah, only by design. Design. <laughs> all by design. All right, <laughs> thank you all. Lots thank of you. love to everyone. Thank you. Very Monica, beautiful. I read your little text here, yeah. so like yeah. just reach yeah. out to me. Yeah. And, yeah. So much, and I go through the product. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you have the email. I put it in the chat, and then I'm happy to show you every little thing we did in the last three years, uh, including the CD. So. If anyone wants to have that shipped or like pick up, it's ten dollar. We have like a thousand now. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. Five dollars. So thank you for joining us, and we we'll see you again in two weeks. However, before it's a book signing, so uh, you can zoom in on the book signing, and we will have as much fun as we always have here. So join us, please. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. Thank you for having me.
Bye, everybody. Nice to see everybody. Good night.